guys. We're going to learn solving for a specific variable within a formula. So our first one we're going to do is A equals BC, and we're going to solve for B. And all that means is that by the end, it needs to say B equals or equals B. B should be the only thing left. So we want this guy to be by himself, which means we need to move that C away. And since C is being multiplied, you're going to divide by C on both sides. The C on the right will cancel, and you're left with just B. So A over C is equal to B. Number two, we're going to have D plus 3N equals 1, and we're going to solve for N, which again means we need to say N equals or equals N. So we're going to focus on N. We need to get everything away from it. So let's move that D first. It's being added. So we're going to subtract D from both sides. That gets rid of that D. 3N is equal to, and then 1 minus D. Since we're de dealing with variables, you have to keep numbers and variables separate. And so it's just 1 minus D. Then we're going to get that 3 away from that n, because again, we want this to be all by itself. So we're go going to divide both sides by 3, since that 3 is multiplied times n. We have to divide to get that to become just 1n. And then what you see on that right is your actual answer, 1 minus d all over 3. And then number 3. It's going to be P plus 9 over 5 is equal to R, and we're going to be solving for P. So we want to focus on this guy. So the first thing we need to do is multiply 5 on both sides to get that 5 out of that denominator. So we're going to multiply the entire thing by 5, meaning it's going to go here, which will just take that 5 out of the denominator. And it's going to go here, which will make it 5, uh, 5R. So on the left, we're going to be left with P plus 9 is equal to 5R. And then again, we want this P by itself. So subtract 9 from both sides. P is equal to 5R minus 9. You cannot subtract 9 from a variable. 9 is just a number. It didn't have an R. So you cannot subtract 9 from that 5. So this is our final answer. And we have one more problem. We're going to do 3 fourths. A minus Q is equal to K. And we're going to be solving for A. So we need this A by itself. First thing we're going to do is move that Q because it's being subtracted. We're going to add Q to both sides. This will cancel. We're still left with 3 fourths A. And on the right, we have K plus Q. Then to get a fraction to go away, you multiply both sides times its reciprocal. So we're going to multiply this side times 4 over 3. And we're going to multiply this side times 4 over 3. So whenever you multiply 4 thirds times 3 fourths, you end up with just 1 or 1a. And then this is the exact answer. We just normally would write that fraction first. Um, although I would accept it the other way as well. And we're done.